Hello, everybody. Hello, Juno. Hey, Gerald. I love that intro. It's the first time I've watched that in really while I focused on it. It's amazing. You're so talented. Oh, thank you. I have I have a lot of fun with them. It's one of the things that bring me some joy. So yeah, you can tell. Everyone, please um, welcome to this uh, Laugh and Learn. And I'm going to have you pronounce this because suddenly I don't feel confident. Oh, and you know what, everybody? It's it's a tongue twister for all of us. It's gin, as they would say, like the drink, only it's spelled with a J. Shin, like your shin bone. And it's jutsu. Jitsu, like uh, you think of jujitsu, the martial art, is J-I-T-S-U. That means technique, J-Y-U-T-S-U. Jiu-Jitsu means art. This is a, a healing art. I love that. And this amazing person is Juno Sphere. Mm -hmm. Juno came last month and did a casual with me. That is linked in the description below. All of Juno's information is linked below, as well as a, uh, a current um, GoFundMe, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, I am Tarot Stash. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I just is... noticed we both have big S's. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> That's, yes, yes, we have big S's. <laughs> um, this is for entertainment purposes only. Do not make decisions based upon what we say. Seek professional assistance. Really? Uh, and please like, share, and subscribe. It's free. Mm -hmm. I should probably make one of these that uh, say like, share, and subscribe all all separately or something like that. But but uh, but yeah. So today we have a laugh and learn, which is not really a part two. It's a its own separate thing, isn't it? Because well, of, it's, it's an extent. It's a continuation of what we started. But that is true. Mm -hmm. That's that's true. And um, I know everybody is already subscribed to your channel right? Right. No pressure. Go subscribe. <laughs> so. Look into my eyes, right? Yeah, look into my eyes. <laughs> so, oh, here. There you go. <laughs> so let's say hi to some of the best chatters. Um, Jane, the seeker mm -hmm. is here. Hello, Jane. I can't miss this one. Good. Viviani is here. Hello, hey, Viviani. Man. Good to see you. Willow Love is here. Hi, Willow. It's nice to see you here. And um, Tarot Stash is here. Everybody be careful of that one. Yeah, um, I heard I about her. him. Yeah, I've heard about him. Uh, Minerva is here. Good to see you, Minnie. And um, Fogo Pogo. Kaylee is here. Kaylee, have you recovered from doing the back and forth with uh, Jamie and Gerald on Tuesday? Because we had a really good time. Very good questions, Kaylee. Uh, Mary Thornberry is here. Jane is saying hi to everyone and the best chatters. Um, and Sherry, Voices from the Swamp is here. Hi, Sherry. Good to see you. Uh, Kathy Persons is here. Jonathan Daly. Hello, hello. Yes, always Gerald um, Flutter's eyelashes. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, you know my big my big eyelashes there too. There you go. And Lottie B, hugs from Spirit is here. Hi, Lottie. And oh, so uh, Kaylee said no recovery needed. So that's the best time when you don't need to recover. You know, you can. That is exactly right. Pumps you right up. Exactly right. So, um, <clears throat> Teresa Ford is uh, is here. Okay, Teresa Ford's here. So. We're able to to start. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing you, Teresa. It's good yeah. to have everybody here. And seriously, thank you very much. So um, this, this is great. I am going to turn off this banner because of that. And uh, okay, so Teresa did find that funny. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Um, so, okay. So what is this amazing thing that we're talking about today? Well, Jin Shin Jitsu is a Japanese healing art, and it, it, uh, the healing occurs on more than just a physical level. It's mental, emotional, and spiritual. Uh, it goes back, you know, centuries and centuries and centuries. Um, it, to, to, um, let me see here. <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry. Get all... That's okay. That's okay. And <laughs> Sherry, by the way, has said uh, has taken the day off and is um, um, going to plan your tri her trip to visit Juno in the flesh. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited, and I've made her a, a special a mandala, so we we'll give her in person. So I'm excited. And um, Madame Maru is here. Hi, Maru. There so. Hey, everybody. Appreciate everybody being here. And this is the first time that we're, we're attempting to see if it streams on my channel, too. So I'm not sure if it's working, but we did the all the it's, little. It's, it's, it's there. It's working. But because uh, you have it saved private for later. And they don't see it. OK, here. thank you. I'm learning, guys. This is yeah, all this is great. I'm making is big great. changes, upgrades to my channel. So this is a big help, Gerald. You're welcome. Oh, it's great. So, and just to make it easier for everybody, if you really have a hard time saying Jin Shin Jitsu, you can just say JSJ. Okay. Um, and some people shorten it to Jin Shin Jitsu, or just to Jin Shin, but then you're leaving off the art. So, you yes. know, but we all would know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a technique, not a mechanical application. Mm -hmm. So since it's an art, it's a skillful creation. Okay. So like like, you learn, you know, when you take self-help classes or, you know, the, to be a practitioner, you learn the flows and, and how to properly do them, but you're the artist and you're working with a person or an animal and their, you know, their, uh, their energy is constantly changing. Every moment is just a snapshot in time. So you will naturally, your hands will know where to go. So yeah. that's where, that's how this one way that you can interpret this as an art and that makes mm -hmm. you the artist. Yes. Um, I, I, I like that. It does, it does, in a way, it shifts the energy around it to an art form because I think, I think medicine of any kind is an art form, especially when someone is connected to the energy around that and is mm -hmm. able to connect with their their patient client. Mm -hmm. um, the The energy flow goes between uh, the 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 provider and the recipient, so I think it's great. Exactly. Oh. That was excellent. Excellent, Gerald. Yeah. And it's it's not an application of a technique. It's a demonstration of art. And by simply being the channel through uh -huh. which flows infinite aesthetic powers of cre the creator. So you're just the conduit. You're just acting as a jumper cable. It's just like when you jumper cable your car, you know, you're, you're, you're connecting two points. So in Jin Shin Jitsu, you put your hands, depending on what you're addressing on two different points. If you do with one, it will still benefit. Two okay. is even better, though. It just, uh, you know, the energy moves more quickly. Sure. Um, it's an oral tradition that keeps it alive, and it's an always changing cosmic artless art. So there's one of those, mm. those mind benders to really wrap your head around. Yeah. And the only requirement to doing uh, Jin Shin Jitsu, practicing Jin Shin Jitsu, is being compassionate. Oh, okay. It's the art of the creator through compassionate man. Mm. Of course, man, you know, man, woman, that's, you know, we're yeah, we, human we you know, beings. Yes. Yes. Right. Um, Jane, the seeker. Yes, we are uh, taking questions again for entertainment purposes only. Um, I've got some questions here and then we'll we'll uh, give an opportunity for Juno to share. So, okay. um, And uh, Delphi Ross has uh, joined <laughs> us. Hello, Delphi. Great to see you. And Kaylee said, the energies are so weird with words lately. Half uh, half the time, I'm like, what are words? What is English? Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you write the same word over and over, and then it doesn't even, it looks so bizarre. It doesn't even look like, is that really a word? And it's really a word. But hey, mm -hmm. that bring, that leads me to a, a, a riddle that I have for you, Gerald. Oh, no. What is the long longest English word? Uh, is it floxynoxynilification? Oh, that's a new one. Wow. It is not. That's I you have to write that one down for me. Okay. It is actually smiles be because there's a mile between the first and the last letter. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. She got me. <laughs> oh, it's like getting the, the handshake on Bake Off. I got the swoop. Yes, oh my you goodness. got the Antwerp. I love it. I love it. That's that's great. There's mile. Yeah, my, yeah, that's good. There's a mile between the first and last letter. I just that's and good. that goes with our happiness uh, and joyful theme of the day today, right? 
yes. And um, Sherry said, I have become very efficient at pointing out the body parts to work on. Juno gives mm -hmm. direction and I do the action. Mm -hmm. That's yep. good. And um, I don't know if I said hi to Vanessa S. Um, it's good to see you. And uh, um, Teresa Ford said, the way you explain it takes a lot of the anxiety out of it. Good, good. That's beautiful. Well, well, I was taught by by the best, and she suffered a, a severe brain injury. We talked about it in the other show, but she had to learn everything all over again. She had to learn to speak and talk and everything. So she wow. she talks, she refers to herself as the Forrest Gump of Jin Shin Jitsu because she breaks it down into understandable language and pieces. And um, yes, so I'm very grateful that I I have such a wonderful mentor and friend in my life. That's beautiful. Um, and Rossi has joined us and Kiba Lyons and, um, but it's really anti disestablishmentarianism. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's a, that's good, a one. good one. Yeah. And, and extra points for spelling that correctly. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. So, well, I mean, we talked a little bit about this Juno before, but how did you learn about it? How did you learn about it? Uh, it was a, a diagnosis of fibromyalgia when I was 40, which I'd been suffering with since I was three. That's another story I think we went into in the previous show. Mm -hmm. yes. um, and it led me to a pain management doctor. And then they tried everything, you know, all the traditional medical medications and this test and that test. And let's put, you know, inject you here and that nothing helped. And so after two years, the pain management doctor said, I, this is everything I know. And, you know, I'd like to, I want to help you, but that's all I have. So I know this doctor that does this kind of energy work. I can't even pronounce it, but here's her number. Maybe check her out. <laughs> and fortunately, the uh, um, she worked at a clinic, and so she could code it. So I got sessions every on every two weeks on average for five years, and my insurance paid for it. I love it. And after two weeks of like of two sessions, I felt like somebody was putting Humpty Dumpty back together again. Mm -hmm. on, on every level, you know, I'm not saying, oh, I yeah. was healed and I threw down my crutches. No, I don't have crutches. You know what I mean? I, it wasn't yes. that, but it was still that sense of, you know, somebody was actually addressing me in a way that that I that my body and my soul could uh, process and take in because I'm allergic to the medications. I'm, you know, if I have an mm -hmm. X-ray, I'm sick for three days. You know, yes. even any little energy things, and there's more people out there, especially in our community who understand that now, but back then in the mid nineties, you know, you got two heads, you know, what, what's yeah. the matter with you? Just get up and get over it or just take this medication and get over it. Everybody else does. And it didn't work that way for me. Yes. Uh, well, and I mean, what you've just des described is the beautiful example of how I'm, I'm going to call your original doctor, um, you know, Western uh, medicine approach, which there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Um, and then you have, I'm going to say, is this, would this be Eastern philosophy? Yeah. Yeah. As opposed okay. to Western. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so what happens is, is when they work together, it's a very holistic approach and there's a benefit that is exchanged. I, I love that, that, uh, you found this person after two sessions, you're like, huh, this is, this is good. I like yeah. this. Yeah. And then I couldn't wait for my next appointment to go, you know, my hand, my hand in the air, like the kid in the classroom, can't wait to give the answer. Like, I want to know more. How, tell me, tell me how I do this. You know, I just knew it, that. It, and then, you know, long story short, I received scholarships to be able to attend. So I didn't let mm -hmm. money stand in the way. I found a way, Yes. you know, and, and also uh, spirit lined that all up for me to, right. To, to have these opportunities because I've been blessed with amazing opportunities through, uh -huh. um, through this process. I and know. now I, I, uh, I've been, let's see, 22 years now that wow. I've been on okay. this journey. And I would say, you know, not to discourage anybody because it's a, it's a lifelong journey. Yes. You know, you learn enough to get you started and then, you you know, it builds, it's cumulative. Mm -hmm. But it's like when I reached the 20 year mark, then they had a big, bigger understanding of it. You know, you just kind of get it on a different level. But I think that's true of any anything we practice. Yes, I think so. Because for each time we practice, we bring previous experience with us. 
and then that also helps to inform us and we build it's a it's a building it's a weaving but yeah exactly it is a weaving exactly yeah and uh, and jinshin jinshin jitsu works on her highest energetic level mm -hmm. so the more you do it, the more you're raising your own vibration in a sense, yes. you know, as you're harmonizing, because it's all about harmony. This is not a, it doesn't cure you. It doesn't heal you, so to speak. It, it's harmony. It's about being in harmony. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, let's say hi to a few more people who've come in. We have uh, Sandy Johnson. We have, where did I miss? We have uh, Jay Cat Lady. Good to see you. We have Queen Kaylin, hello, um, Diana, oil painter, uh, goddess Diana, mm -hmm. Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's and of amazing. course driving down oh, of the road and listening and enjoying. Good to see you. Uh, and uh, Care Bear, Bard of Cards. Good to see you. So thank you everybody for coming in. Um, Donna, artist and oracles, is here. Big fan of this modality. My homeopath practices JSJ mm -hmm. as well. Great combo. Excellent. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah I love it. And, and you know, there's even, there's at least one in, or two hospitals back East that have a whole uh, wing of the hospital devoted to Jin Shin Jitsu because they found how much it helps people. I mean, it doesn't interfere with medications or treatments or anything. It's uh -huh. uh, supportive of all that. So I love that. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's becoming more, and, and if you go to Europe, it's much more mainstream in Europe. Of uh, course. My, my first instructor for the first two class, five day classes I took was from Germany. You know, she came here just oh. to teach and then went back. And so, you, you know, you, I learned a lot right from her about how, mm -hmm. uh, how it's integrated and uh, just more accepted. Yeah. Um, Madam Maru said, I uh, love that chakra grid, you know, Oh, my, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And it's got a, it's got a, uh, oh, Merkaba nice. on top. Ah, um, okay. So it's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank All you, right. You. Um, I've missed some other Pamela bachelor is here. Hello. And <laughs> apologies if I've missed <laughs> anyone and uh care bear loves that crochet work too. Oh, thank you. Yes. Perfect. It is crochet. Every stitch is a prayer. Yep. The meditation. Yep. And uh, Sandy said, my talented, wonderful uh, neuropath uh, healer passed recently. Now I'm on the hunt for a new. Very hard to find. Yeah. But here's the thing. I, what I, what Spirit just said, ask. Just ask yes. Spirit to align you with that person. Just like how I stumbled into this. I've stumbled into so many things. Of course, you know, that's how I view it. And Spirit's going, yeah, right. You didn't mm -hmm. stumble. You know, you laid this map out ahead of time before you even got here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Rhonda Q said, this is my first introduction. So um, I hope you, this is, this is uh, helpful for you. We're doing a, um, a, a good basic in uh, a basic explanation for it. And um, there were, um, all right. Jonathan asked, is uh, Jinshun Jujitsu? Jutsu. Jutsu, sorry. Jutsu, Jutsu. Jutsu. Yeah. Similar to medical Qigong. Um, I don't know a whole lot about medical Qigong, but um, here's here's how I'll explain it, how it would be different from uh, acupuncture, okay? Acupuncture, they deal with meridians, right? And that's like the rivers of energy that flow through our body, okay? Mm -hmm. And where the acupuncturist puts those needles is where that flow is the fastest in that river. Jin okay. Jitsu is like all the little tributaries that lead into the river. So we focus on like the pre, 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 like getting to the cause of whatever the project mm -hmm. is. And we don't call them an illness or a disease. It's just a, a project to be worked on. Mm -hmm. So you're not putting a label on it. You're not limiting it. You know, right. uh, you're leaving it's wide open for miracles to happen. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, that's the best way. I, as since I don't know qigong, medical qigong, I I can't. Uh, yeah. You know, these are all related. You know, they're all working with the energy body. I don't know if you would like me to tell that part I told you now about what subtle energy is. My, I think that would be great. And okay. um, Maru actually put in um, a pronunciation. So, yeah, jutsu. Yeah, jutsu. Okay, yeah. 
think of that like JYU Jew, Jew, you know, almost yeah. almost like Jew, like Jewish, but not exactly. Okay. All right. So, Go for it. so um, through working with, and I'll show you a, a diagram after this about the safety energy locks and where they're located in the body. And I'll talk about more about that, but the safety energy lock are like the keys to opening these safety energy locks. And key is also key KI, which is also chi. Mm -hmm. So key, key and chi, they're all related. Okay. So subtle energy is the same as electromagnetism in that it is just light, but different in that it is light at very high and possibly very low frequencies where it behaves differently and responds to different laws. Subtle energy is to our current understanding of electricity, classic electromagnetism, as water vapor or steam is to water. It is essentially the same thing, only finer, more diffuse, and it obeys different laws. Subtle energy is diffuse electromagnetism. You can't measure subtle energy with a voltmeter any more than you can measure water vapor with a measuring cup. I love analogies where you get a visual. It really yes. helps me grasp yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So then qi or chi is an energy finer than that of electricity or electromagnetic energy. Safety energy locks are where the flow of qi comes to the surface of the body. So scientifically speaking, these areas are essentially points of high electrical conductivity or conversely, low electrical resistance. They act somewhat like amplifiers that pass the qi or qi along from one point to another. That's great. I just Thank love that you. idea of how to, you know, it's it, these, they're such obscure and esoteric concepts to try to grasp. And mm -hmm. that really helped me to think about it that way. That Yeah. Yeah. And Jonathan did share medical Qigong is a way of using energy to work with the Chinese meridians. Okay. So it's similar, but different. Like I said, we're working with flows that go through the body. Mm -hmm. um, they're, 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 they meander more, let's say, than the the meridians do but you know it, uh, many paths up the mountain I, it's not a either or situation yes yeah and um i i agree with you many paths up the mountain you take the one that is available to you and that works for you exactly so. and you might and it might be a blend of different ones you know like Absolutely. i'm also a reiki master so for me reiki is like the umbrella but, you know, I can feel Reiki. And now my hands are heating up just talking about it. You know, if I crochet, uh, Reiki's coming through. If I'm yeah. cooking, you know, I make cookies and I, I bake goodies and give them to people as a just to brighten their day. You know, it's, yes. it's all part of that. Yeah. Um, and back to the, the meaning of Jin Shin Jitsu, Jin, the J-I-N, means compassion or benevolence. And that is the magic key that unlocks the true power of our inner spirit. Mm. Shin means spirit. And then, as I said, jitsu translate to art. So it's art of the creator through compassionate man. It's the art of happiness and the art of longevity. I love that. I love that. Jane the Seeker has said, uh, I can tell uh, this will be alive. I will watch a few times. Then I'll get my journal and watch it again. <laughs> love it, Jane. Yes. That's great. I, yeah. I get tears in my This me. This is like, uh, sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's okay. This opportunity, you know, with you and with others and being able to bring this forward is a lifelong dream to me. This mm -hmm. is just like my passion and I'm so grateful and I'm, I welcome any questions or, you know, anything. I'm just really thankful. Sorry. It gets me. You don't have I to apologize. Really, it comes from my heart so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jacob Bush is here. Hi, Jacob. Hey, Good Jacob. to see you. Sandy Johnson said, this is a wonderful, informative show. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate that feedback. Yeah. And Jonathan said, I feel the uh, chi flowing through uh, my hands when I'm making art. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Never say sorry when your eyes <laughs> fill up with joy. Yeah. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you. That means Ooh. a lot. Ooh, another. You got another one. That's, uh, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, yeah. And, um, yeah, Juno is the real deal and such a sweet soul. Thank you, Jane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So there's going to be there's there's going to be praise heaped in your general direction, <laughs> Juno. So get ready. Um, and um, Jonathan is sending lots of aloha in uh, Juno. And we, um, Juno, I keep telling you that what you give to all of us 
far oh. outweighs what you take in. Oh, thank you. It's a circuit. We all, you know, yep. give, give, give generously and receive graciously. Yes, I like thank that. You. We appreciate your sharing your knowledge. Thank and you. um, Care Bear said, honestly, some words used here, I'm writing down uh, <laughs> in my words to use list for my poetry. Loved how you described it, Juno. That's beautiful. Well, these are, I mean, I'm, uh, have the benefit of the words of wise people before me. These, you know, I'm just sharing them. But I, I also wanted to give a little, because we were going to talk later about laughing and, and, and to how to harmonize joy. And what you guys can do while you're sitting there and listening to the show is just hold your ring fingers, either one. You can, you know, grasp it just around there. You can get in there and really work it. You can put your thumb down the middle of the palm. You can put the thumb down the back of the palm, play around with it. Mm -hmm. The ring finger helps to heart, brings joy into being. So anyone out there who's dealing with sadness or grief or just, or is enjoying the joy, you know, while, while we're talking, you can do that and see. And with all of us doing that at the same time and sending that energy out, we're being, it's like, you know how it's magnified when we get together. Mm -hmm. and, and yes. so it's very powerful. Even if the people are watching later, the fact that you're doing it along with that yep. would be very beneficial. Absolutely. And um, yeah, uh, Diana said, I think of the meridian lines in the body like the ley lines of our own uh, personal flow. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. And um, thank and you. And there's Sherry. many ways that uh, um, uh, energy flows through the body. You know, there's like a figure eight pattern. You know, there's the meridians. There's many different ways depending on the modality you're using. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, Diana said, yeah, Juna has taught me a lot about this. Um, I've uh, this I've healing process. I appreciate that uh, more than she'll yeah. ever know. She's definitely the real deal. And yes. Well, and um, and um, Beth Aspasia Rising is here as well as uh, Jen Joyful Journey. Links to get a hold of Juno are in the description below. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, and we talked briefly, there is a link down there to a GoFundMe that she is working on for, um, the needs, uh, related to a, her car. However, if you donate, what do they get in an exchange? Because you are very much a balanced person. Yes. I just, you know, really enjoy giving back and it, I'm so grateful to the support from this community. So, I offered this last time I did this. This uh, is actually a, a continuation of the previous GoFundMe that that I have stopped taking donations on. This is just focusing on my vehicle. Um, but anyone, no matter what you donate, because I know not everybody has a lot of money. But if you know, I appreciate the energy sent my way. I will do all I need is your birth date information, day, month, and year, and I will run a destiny card yearly reading report and send it to you. It's about 20 or 21 pages that you'll be able wow. to refer to throughout the year. And it'll go from birthday to birthday. Now, if someone already donated in the past and received a destiny card reading, we can do the one for your next coming birthday, or I can do a life report card. Wow. So, um, cool. and, and any information is obviously set, kept confidential, but uh, of course. I will be sending out, I'll be contacting people that have donated uh, I'll be sending you an email through the GoFundMe to let you know how to get in touch with me. Yeah, so. yeah. Nina, uh, Nina said Juno is an amazing fountain of information. Oh, thanks. Yes, um, Nina's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So we had we did have a question. Yes. Um, uh, there's a couple of questions, and I'm trying to. Okay. That is my question, if you don't mind. This dizziness is driving me crazy. Walls are uh, walls are my friends. And um, because um, this is Jane the Seeker, uh, who is asking for entertainment purposes only, not medical advice. Right. But, um, what finger can I pull to get rid of dizziness? That is well, my question, if you don't mind. The dizziness is driving me crazy. Walls are my friends. Let me look. I, I have compiled a 500-page directory of all the things that uh, you can do with Jin Shin Jitsu. So let me, I don't, re I don't pretend to um, have it all memorized just yet, you know. <laughs> Overachiever. Yeah. Basically. Well, it takes one to know one, right? Yes. Well, and I am a person who I, I love having a resource. So. Yes. Yep. Exactly. And well, even Einstein, to paraphrase Einstein, I never memorized anything I could look up in a book. 
That's exactly right. Einstein did not know his phone number because he could look it up in the phone book. Yeah. So dizziness is caused by too much tension in the upper back. So um, you could also, you know, things that you can do to release your shoulders, your upper back, the, the base of your skull, even just placing your hands there. Place your hands just on either side of your neck. Um, place your hands just over your shoulders, whatever's comfortable for you. You know, this is not about, you know, the older we get, we get a little less flexible. Things might be mm-hmm. difficult. If you can only move, you know, place one hand at a time. It's too hard to do with both. Just do one at a time and then rest the other hand, like say on the inside of your opposite leg, you know, like your right hand on the inside of your left leg. And then that makes that connection. Yeah. Okay. And Jane said that would be correct. So holding the thumbs can help dizziness and or holding the index finger can help dizziness. I've got a whole bunch more, but I don't want to give too many. And another one that that's always a go-to is cross your hands and hold the inside of your knees. This is the prime mover, safety energy lock one. It is uh, uh, correlated to the magician in the tarot. Okay. You think about what the magician can do. Safety energy lock one. So anything, any, this is like if Mary would say, Mary was Mary Burmeister. Here's her picture. Here's Mary Burmeister. She's the, she's the founder of Jinshin Jitsu. She's the one that um, took the teachings of Jiro Mirai. Here he is, who Mm -hmm. uh, he brought this forward. And she's, then she took all this and and correlated it to all the other things that um, we relate it to, like astrology, numerology, colors, tastes, Uh smells, numbers. Um, Okay, I lost my train of thought. That's okay. Oh, Mary would say if if all you ever do is hold your hold your ones right on the inside of your knees or your thumbs, they're related for the rest of your jumper cable days. You will address everything in this in your whole system. So when you say that you cross your arms, you cross your arms like this. Yeah. So in other words, you're putting your right palm on the inside of your left knee and your left okay. palm on the inside of your right knee. Okay. Okay. It's, and you know, and if you goof it up and you don't cross your arms, you're not, you can't do it wrong. Yes. It just will take the energy a little bit longer to get, you know, to run mm. through the whole system. Yes. So, um, yeah. Jane, so, I hope that uh, gives you something to consider. Yeah. And the, you know, the safety energy lock one holding the inside of the knees is also really good for nausea. You know, sometimes if you're dizzy, you're nauseous, uh, Anything, anything that you can think of, or if there is an extreme situation, I've known it's helped people that like had drowned, you know what I mean? And where they were being mm-hmm. resuscitated, it moves that stuff out. If you've got to get something out, wow, it's, uh, it's, I've got tons of stories about it, but I won't go into them here, but powerful thing. You know, if you, it, I, I might think I said this last time, but in the hands, okay, there's, there's 144,000 body fun- functions in the body. Let me start over. There's 144,000 functions in the body and each finger harmonizes 14,400 of those functions. Wow. Okay. So when I say hold your thumb, there's a really good reason. You're doing a lot more than you realize. That's incredible. Jane asks, do you add intention? It always helps. It's not required. Like if you're working on somebody who's, you know, I don't believe in any of this. And then, you know, like a, the guy that a friend of mine worked on a big cowboy and everything with his cowboy boots and he had a bloody nose. And she said, take your boots off. She held his pinky toes and his nose stopped bleeding. He wasn't going, I'm putting intention in this and I believe what you're doing. He's looking at her going, lady, you're nuts. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. but when his nose stopped bleeding, he went, you know, he huh. was a believer. I yeah. think there might be something to this. So it always, and it always helps. Okay. Yeah. And Jane says, I am nauseated. Okay. And uh, oh, and Juno asks, could it be vagus nerve related? I'm not. I'm not uh, here to diagnose. And Jinshin Jitsu yes. does not diagnose, so I don't. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate the question. Um, yeah, I and it's it's always a possibility. But that's the thing. Um, you so, know, we're, our our system is all connected. You know, from head yes. to toe, so everything yes. is related. But. Well, it is. It's uh, that idea of that intention. You don't have to believe that the energy works. It just does, whether or not you believe it or not. So it's like Reiki. The yeah. energy is going to be there. Yeah. So. And I mentioned earlier. Well, I'll show you the diagram here. This is the. Uh, Safety energy locks in Jinshin Jitsu. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's 26 on either side of the body, so that's why you see two dots, right? The one will just show you where the number is. 
we call these bone daddies. So this is, you know, shows the front and the back of the body. Uh huh. Okay. And you can see they don't just go, okay, one is here and two is here. You know, that they, they move throughout the body, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So I, I deal with fibromyalgia. Um, I imagine there might be a few other people out there in our audience who deal with fibromyalgia. These, the ones in red are the tender points in fibromyalgia. And look at how they line up with the safety energy locks. Hmm. Very interesting. So the safety energy locks act in our body like the circuit breakers in our house. You get injured, you get stressed, you have a trauma. They shut down to protect us from further damaging ourselves. So yes. that's why we carry, uh, you know, we have these areas. And when you start touching these areas on yourself, you're going to go, man, I didn't even know it hurt there. Holy cow. And it's, Mary would say, bones don't hurt and muscles don't hurt. Tension hurts. So if you can, you know, you can place your palm over that area or you can get in there with your fingertips and bullseye it, you know, if you find where it's really tender. And sometimes you can break it up and get it moving quicker. But this is not about hurting yourself. It's not, you don't have to have discomfort to have benefit. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. Okay. I just put in that if people wanted to ask a question about um, JSJ, uh, mm -hmm. to put it in caps so that uh, I can capture it. So. And I do offer, you know, I do remote healing. I, and also if someone would like to have a private session to say, I have this headache or that, whatever it is, and, you know, I can teach mm -hmm. you self-help and I can also help you, you know, through Zoom. Um, that's also a possibility if, if anyone's interested in that. And so, I read, I'm sorry, go ahead, Joe. Yep, go you first. Okay. This is, take me a few minutes to just, uh, I ran across this. I found a, a box I haven't seen for four years of all these really juicy Jinshin Jitsu fun things. And so I want to share them with you guys. If, if oh, I may. please do. Okay. Hi, um, hi, Sun Psychic Gene. Hey, and Gene. Mousy is here. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Appreciate okay. it. Appreciate you all. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> so these are the, the 26 safety energy locks. And it's like, I know that safety energy lock seems like such a cumbersome thing, but Mary was very specific in her words. And each one of those words is chosen for a reason. And uh, they are each safety energy lock is also the, a sphere. And it's about the diameter of the palm of your hand. And so it extends above the body and it also goes inside the body. So okay. in other words, you can hold above the body, say someone was burned or, you know, had a wound that you couldn't put your hand on. You could hold your hand over that safety energy lock area and it will still help them. Mm -hmm. So here's the spiral story of the 26 safety energy locks. So everybody, you know, hold your ring fingers and listen or your thumbs or whatever. Uh, jumper cable yourself as needed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the one... Oneness splits into two, duality, the mirror image, so that three brings us into harmony, so that I, four, can open my windows to see how things change. Five, then I can be human. Six, with no discrimination. Seven, and receive perfect life power. Eight, to connect above and below. Nine, to, the end, to end the cycle and to begin again in the ten, limitless power of life opening our breath, eyes, and ears. 11, to listen, to receive all the answers so that I can 12, connect to my higher self. 13, to recreate and fertilize mind, body, and soul. 14, so I know there is a place for me that everything is taken care of. 15, so I will be in joy and laughter in my place. 16, with my foundation connecting to my roots. 17, to calm down my nerves and mind so I can understand. 18, all the layers I'm in, I'm in to give me 19 or perfect leadership and authority, sorry, which 20 helps me not to get stuck in the authority as it gives me the big overview to help 21 to erase all mental bondage so that I 22 am balanced inside and outside and 23 am ready for responsibility. 24, if I harmonize chaos, I can live in peace. 25, so that I can regenerate. 26, to be complete and begin the spiral again. That's beautiful. I like that. That's a I didn't write way. it. I yeah. didn't write it. But. Yeah, but it's a nice way to help see the flow. Well, and to understand that 
the nest, the importance of all the safety energy locks, you know, that it, this is a, a process that runs through our whole body. I just think that that, and I can relate that to, you know, even the tarot cards, like you can look at the numbers of it and the colors and everything, because these are all related to different colors and things. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing how it's all connected. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you for letting me read that. Well, of course, Liz and all and Lori Hunsinger are here. Um, and, um, and Sun Psychic Gene has said, hi, Junosphere. <laughs> so, and, uh, and again, if people would like to get one-on-one uh, -on -one information, again, know your limits, purchase responsibly, here to share, not to sell. Uh, Juno's contact information is in the description. So that's, uh, that's always very helpful. Um, and, okay, so I'm just looking at the questions. And uh, yes, everybody, as Jane the Seeker said earlier, it's okay to rewatch the show <laughs> and to let us know. So, and you know, repetition is the thing with Jin Shin Jitsu. That's just how you, yeah. know, you might hear me say things repeatedly, but that this is how we integrate it into our daily practice. Yes. And uh, trust me, sometimes I'm stubborn and it takes me a while to learn things. So, and, oh, and Diana said, oh, those destiny card readings are <laughs> so spot on. It's surprising and amazing. Thank you, Diana. So. Yeah, they're, and it's not intuitive. It's something that's laid out almost kind of like how astrology, you know, things are kind of laid out for you. It's similar to that in a way. And it, and it talks about different planets and their influence over our, our okay. year. <laughs> and so while we're, um, you know, we're not diagnosing or anything like that, you go, you know, get go seek professional assistance. Um, there's a couple of questions and, um, and if we can't answer them, that's fine. Sandy said, my daughter has uh, CPTSD. Anything to help um, that? I believe. Uh, if she's talking about PTSD, um, there are things that, because I deal with that also. And one of them, and I was just going to talk about this. There's this area on the hand and it's right here at the wrist and it's called mm -hmm. the Shen Men. It's at the back of the hand where the wrist crease is and it's the spiritual door. Okay. Oh. So covering that and in Jin Shin Jitsu, we learn if you, you know, you want to make contact with the palm of one hand over the back of the other hand. This is really, really powerful helping if you're having panic attack or dealing mm -hmm. with PTSD. And if you do this prior, like say, okay, I know that going to the grocery store, you know, kicks, I'm just giving an example, sure. you know, gives me PTSD. Do this before you go. You're going to help yourself have less reaction. You know, it, it's a cumulative thing. So mm. and what do we do? Like if someone's in the hospital and, and they're all hooked up to tubes and everything else, you can't get close to them, but we hold the back of their hand. Yes. Right. And this can also revive somebody from fainting. It's really, really oh. powerful. So you can do one side or the other. Wow. Um, okay. If part of PTSD is like analysis paralysis, you know, runaway thoughts, runaway thinking, holding the pinky finger. And like I said, you can hold it any way you want. You're the artist. Mm -hmm. um, you, one day you might just want to just kind of hang on, you know, not really focus or just kind of have your hand there. And then another day you might want to go, I want to really get down to what is the cause of this? Where is it? Where is that energy uh -huh. stuck? And you can really detail that finger and you're going to find these little hot spots that are really, really tender. Yeah, this would be for any any PTSD um, yeah. would be helpful. So those are things that you can do to help with the, the running away of thoughts. And like I said, do it is you know if you know you're going to be in a triggering situation do these things beforehand will help you when you're, yeah, you're dealing it, with it it would build up the energy it's it's preventative yeah and it, it's also cumulative like all those sessions that i had with that doctor you know i still benefit from all that and that was yes. years ago yeah there you go it, kaylee said so that's why yeah. i like my friend holding my wrist when i'm having an anxiety attack that makes yeah. so much sense I rarely talk about Jin Shin Jitsu when I don't hear somebody say, I'm already doing that. Like, you you know this, you know, it's learning is just remembering. Okay. Yes. We yeah. knew how to do these things. Yeah. You're welcome, Sandy. It's my pleasure. My yeah. pleasure. And, and go ahead. Um, because we were talking, you know, the laugh and learning, we were focusing on that. I find this an interesting uh, correlation. But one of the things that you can do, you see safety energy lock 22 is right here. 
right at the collarbone. Okay. So mm -hmm. you cross your hands and you can just rest your hands on, you know, on your, over that area. Like this, this is really, yes, just whatever. And if you think about, look at when they buried the Egyptian mummies and then how they're wrapped, oh. their hands are up there and it means safe and content wherever I am. So this can really help if you're having any kind of fear, any kind of panic, mm -hmm. or if you're wanting to bring more joy and happiness into your life, this is another uh, avenue incredible. to do that. And this is the one safety energy lock where all of the safety energy lock or all of the Jinchen Jitsu flows go through safety energy lock 22. So oh. we call it the train station or the hub. So I call it Tutu Twain because it's 22. That's how I remember, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, I like that. I like yeah. that. Well, that's yeah. good. And I like how you can correlate it to the um, the pharaohs. Yeah, it, you, you'll start to notice things like another thing you can do um, to uh, regenerate your own energy or to be self-protective. OK, the 19s are at the elbows. So if you cross your el your hands, you know, hold your elbows. That can be, so I relate that to I Dream a Genie. What did she do? You know, she had that position. She was holding her elbows or just above it and mm -hmm. she would blink. She would generate her energy and blink. Yep. So that's, to me, that's how I express the I Dream a Genie, you know, I or the, you know, the 19s, yeah. holding the 19s. So I, I like to put them, put these things in uh, modern context so people can find it easier to remember them. I think that's extremely helpful. I think any teacher uh, would want it to be relatable for their students for current time. So, yeah. 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 And it's an evolving. It even said it in the beginning, you know, it's an evolving cosmic artless art. It's constantly changing. Definitely. Um, but you can change without, uh, you can still keep to the core beliefs without changing, you know, with, you know what I mean? You can blend those two things, keep, mm -hmm. keep the core yeah. value there. Yeah. Um, Jane the Seeker had a question. What if you have metal there? Does metal block the energy? No. You, this goes through clothes. It goes through anything. You can even send this distance. So say we have a, a mutual friend, like, all, you know, how we have our community and we know, some, you know, person X has whatever going on. Mm -hmm. And if we could, if holding our thumbs would help them, if we all did that and sent that, you know, it's that magnify, we can send that. But, you know, the, it, it goes through anything. It's not. Uh, yeah. So Jane, I, you know, it, uh, you, you know, you might be like the Terminator with all of that metal, but it's still going to get through. Yeah. Even if you say you had an, uh, uh, like I've had a hysterectomy, my uterus, my organs are still there energetically. So I mm -hmm. can still help them energetically. If someone has had a limb amputated, we've had clients that have, uh, they've had that phantom pain, you know, they yes. had a foot removed or something, they had phantom pain. Well, we would work on them with, in Jinshin Jitsu and we would hold, have our hand in what would be that area if that foot was there and they feel relief mm -hmm. from that. Sometimes it's permanent relief. I that, love that. that. You know, it's just making that connection and uh, allowing the energy to flow again. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, Donna, artist and oracle said, question, tips for right eye. Tear duct is sluggish. Okay, the, the off the top of my head, because I deal with the eyes all the time because I have eye issues. Um, if it's your right eye, take your right hand and cup it over your right eye. So you wanna you wanna be um, touching, you know, like the heel of your uh, hand, you know, on your cheek and your fingertips on your forehead, and take the left hand and put that across the back of your head at the base of your skull. Oh, the base of the skull. Yeah. So, you know, and you, you switch for either eye. Um, mm -hmm. And also you can just, uh, you know, rub your hands together. You always do that anyway, if you yeah. want. And then cup over both eyes is also beneficial. So those are two things that can and work. This is, this is one of those things that, uh, you know, in, in, in my magical practice, you can build energy that way mm -hmm. and you just feel it right there. And it can be very healing for, you know, to put, to cup your eyes, just to give them some of that loving attention. But you're talking about doing this. So that's, that connects. And it's going through the, you know, the mm -hmm. pineal gland and you're getting the third eye involved and everything there. It's really yes. beneficial. So where the fingertips are up here, at safety energy like 20, this is seeing as the creator sees. So you think, you know, the third eye is right in between those. And what do we do when we're trying to remember something? We put our hand to our forehead, you know, like mm -hmm. I could only remember. So, you know, yeah. we're 
we're we don't know that we're jumper cabling but we are you know yes i love that um jonathan asked uh how does wearing rings affect your energy um I, I think this is on an individual basis. The way that I have seen where it has been an issue, okay, is another thing is with the, to, back to the eyes, you could go to the eye toe, which would be the index toe eye is also the EYE toe. So that's the one next to the big toe. Mm -hmm. So I have known people, you know, when toe rings are popular, um, somebody was having a lot of eye issues and we noticed that they were wearing a toe ring that was too tight on the eye toe and when they took it off it helped their vision improve oh wow okay so you know but you know i'm not against wearing rings um and i think it's an individual thing you know some people like i like to i've had uh, jewelry that it's uh like the stone is set so it touches your skin not just facing out that can be mm -hmm. beneficial um but you know, there's purists who feel like any metal on your body, you know, having earrings or anything, it, it can disrupt, you mm -hmm. know, I think do what you, you're the artist is what I would say. Um, yeah. So, my, my issue again would be that it would be constricting if it was too tight. That would be the real obvious reason to not wear jewelry. Well, and I, and I would also, I, I'm going to support you in this is because there's, uh, because uh, my my chiropractor who was aware of some of the the Chinese medicine and acupuncture pressure and and that thing uh, had talked about um, like ear piercings or piercings right. yeah. and being careful where those piercings yeah, are connecting. And I remember when I started to wear uh, back in the day when I was younger, I would wear uh, big hoops. Yeah, and. Um, I found that when I was, you know, again, this is just Gerald, not endorsed by anybody else, but um, I I would find that if I had the big hoops on, my my thoughts got confused because uh -huh. and I I could run in circles. Too. Yeah, uh, and that's what I said. Oh. It was like, oh, this is so. I changed them to smaller or mm -hmm. to studs, and it was fine. It, Very it interesting, so. but. I also recognize that everybody's different, you know, and they have their own, what works for them is what works for them. So they're, you know, we don't paint anybody with one brush here, I would say. Oh, no. Find, oh, my find gosh. what works. Yeah. There, there's so many brushes. The eye toe. Great. Didn't know. We'll work on that, too. And um, Donna also said, excellent. Thanks so much. Trying it right now. So excellent. Good. Excellent. Um, and, okay. So, you know, for entertainment purposes only, everybody knows that. Absolutely. Juno's link is in the description uh, below. It's also been put into the chat. So if you would like to show some support, there you go. There's also information uh, about Juno's GoFundMe. It's one of the ways that you can get one of those amazing readings. Um, and let's see. Okay. And I'm also open, you know, to schedule private readings. That's another way you can support me and i'm doing on my channel i post two videos every day one is in a they're mindless videos so you can just watch a kaleidoscope and listen to all different kinds of music and it's not yeah. necessarily meditative but that's another fun thing to do to yeah kind of shift out so. and jonathan said where most people get their ears pierced is the eye point in the uh, science of ear yeah. acupuncture yeah. yeah 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 so uh okay so any advice for sinuses? Okay. Yes. So, Gerald, you can demonstrate this for me. Take your right thumb and put it in the front of your left shoulder, like where you're, if you took that, they took, drew a line right straight up from your armpit and find a tender spot in the front of it, like right there. Yep. In that, that's, if you, and you can do this with both thumbs, you know, on either side, right on left, left on right, okay, or do one at a time. This can really help clear your sinuses. And if it's easier to, you know, to, to make your, a bridge, like with your fingertips and put them there instead of your thumb, you can do that too. Oh, like that. Yeah. But where you find that tender spot, that's where the energy is stuck. And this can really, really work to clean out your sinuses. Also to clear the head, clear the bowels. So if you have any constipation issues or whatever, that can cause sinus, head, head congestion. Okay. Um, 
And thank you, Rhonda Q. Hope that helps. And Care Bear, Bard of Cards said, uh, makes sense. I still feel an occasional pain sensation along my scars from a few abdominal procedures mm -hmm. from over a few years ago. It's an odd feeling, that phantom, mm -hmm. phantom yeah. pain. Mm -hmm. And um, Kaylee did share, overexerted myself curling on the weekend, and I've been having stabbing pain on and off in the back of my calf, similar to a Charlie horse. Any advice? Been giving it some Reiki, which helps temporarily. Okay, off the top of my head, and this this will relate to the the laughing, that the happy thing that we were gonna we were focusing on a little bit. Um, here, safety energy lock fifteen, which is right where you know, the crease at the groin, right? Where the legs mm -hmm. meet the torso. Uh-huh. Funnily enough, this is called the comedians. Safety energy lock 15s are the comedians. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> uh, wash our hearts with laughter is what safety energy lock 15 came into the universe meaning. So this also opens the gateway from the upper body to the lower body energetically. So not only can it help if you're, you know, dealing with laughter and those kind of things, but it also can help anything that's going on in the lower body, uh, knees, ankles, feet, toes, anything in the legs. Mm -hmm. And also another thing that can help is just to, um, the bladder flow line runs right up the back of the legs. So if you just uh, put your hands here at the back of each knee, that I think they call it the ditch, the knee ditch, maybe is that what that is in the okay. back of the knee? Um, hold that there. That can really help get that energy opened up and get it moving again. Mm. So those are two things you can try. Uh, Let us know how it works, Kaylee. Yes. Or if it works. And drinking and a lot of water, you know, that's also important. Anything with muscle tension like that. So Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Well, and I also think that water, you know, we're, we're mostly made up of water mm -hmm. and uh, water is a great conductor of energy. Yes. I did a, a short video last week. Um, water is a mirror. It's just a couple minutes long. You might guys want, want to check it out about oh, nice. water. And and I just saw a thing today and it written in my Jinshin Jitsu notes. It said uh, water created humans to so to provide a way for water to get around i think i think that's absolutely true all i do is transport water yep so yeah just bags um, of water that's how the et sees us we're, we're bags of water <laughs> um okay Teresa ford asked anything for grief yes the ring finger ring finger is good for um, grief sadness addictions and addictions don't have to be drugs addictions can be you know thoughts or shopping or you know dramas mm -hmm. or whatever it is um and i would recommend really getting you know holding it so your thumb is down in the palm of your other hand is really really powerful okay especially uh dealing with grief i would say focus more on the left hand because mm -hmm. the heart is a little bit more on the left side Okay. You know, and, and here again, you can get in there and you, you know, you can do that detailing, you know, putting pressure on each joint, each little, and when you find it, you say you find a little hot spot, right? And so you bullseye for a little while and it releases, move just a little micro movement because sometimes that just moves a little bit and then you got to release it again there. So, you know, just work with it, but yeah. big hugs to you, Teresa. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That, so that's the ring finger. Yes, ring fingers. That brings joy into being. So anything where you're dealing with any kind of sadness or grief or. And um, use that. And also I, the one that I mentioned. Sorry, the one with the hands over the twenty twos, like the pharaoh. You know, that's another really uh -huh. good one. That, that's very very comforting. Yes. Yes. What about um? How about insomnia points when people are struggling? from insomnia. Okay. Um, there is an insomnia flow and I know part of it is like you hold, I'll have to, I might have to look this up. You start with the pinky finger and you do five inhales and exhales, and then you move to the thumb and do five inhales and exhales. And you can go back and forth with that like three times, you know, five inhales mm -hmm. and exhales. And then if you're still awake, then do the back of the hand. Okay. So that's one. There's a lot, you know, each one of these has got, there's a whole 
plethora of things, but this is a, a place to start. The pinky sure. to the thumb, the pinky to the thumb, and then and then here yeah. can really be helpful. Yeah. And uh, Joan B is here. It's like, should we uh, do any breathing practice with these positions? And you just talked about one. It was like perfectly timed. Yes. So. Well, breathing is... Uh, it's what it's all about, you know, and Mary would say when someone confronted her, Mary Burmeister, the, the founder of Jin Shin Jitsu, when someone confronted her about how there was repetition in some of her books and she went, okay, well, let me think. And she says, yeah, I could distill all of this information down into one word, breathe. Wow. So the important thing about breathing is uh, fully exhaling. So mm -hmm. Yeah, we are what we eat, but we also are what we don't excrete. And we, when we exhale is when we're letting go. We're getting rid of, right? We're uh -huh. purging, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. So when you inhale, you want to exhale just a little bit longer. Do the deep breaths. You, you know, even mm -hmm. if you don't do it all day long, but even if you spend a few minutes with it. And each hold, right? If, I, if you're holding each finger, say that's a practice every day, five inhales and exhales minimum per finger. You can mm -hmm. do more, you know, but that's the minimum. Sure. And then you can move on to the index and, you know, and then you can go and do the other side. Toes are also, they have the same uh, energetic properties as the fingers. So you might mm -hmm. want to pay attention to your toes. Yeah. And one other thing is a lot of people that, that they say they have heart attacks. I was told that a lot of times it's actually a diaphragm attack because we, we, we hunch over, right? We don't, we don't sit up straight. And we, when we don't exhale, that diaphragm is continuing to push up on the heart yes. and causes stress on the heart. So lots of reasons to sit up straight. And, and I was told from spirit that it makes us a better antenna for psychic information. If we sit up straight. I can absolutely see that. I can totally see that. Uh, Care Bear said, uh, when I took vocal lessons, I learned so much about breathing. Use it now mm -hmm. in meditation. Breathing like that will change your life. And the other thing is we don't take a breath. We receive a breath. It's a gift. So when we're feeling down and like nobody loves me or I'm, I'm, I'm in a, a mentality of lack or whatever, just think of how many unconscious, you don't even have to effort. You breathe. You receive those gifts how many times a day and night. You're, you, you receive mm -hmm. it when you're sleeping, you know, yes. and start building on that um, yeah. uh, thought and, and then incorporating that into your um uh, into your language to yourself. Yes. And uh, Kaylee's saying uh, me sitting up straight after mm -hmm. hunching over at my desk at work, hashtag work mm -hmm. lurking. And I'm just as guilty as anybody, you know, it's, yes. it's a, it, you have to keep reminding yourself, you know, sit up straight. Yes. It is a gift. Well, and a lot of times I think because we've been hunched over and, you know, I'm sitting in front of my computer uh, if I if I actually lean back, I'm not sitting up straight. So if I sit up straight, mm -hmm. uh, it does shift the energy. Yeah, definitely. Shift the energy quite well. A bit. It aligns your chakras, all of that. You know, mm -hmm. everything gets back in order. So yeah. Um, okay. So and um, we are just over an hour. And one of the things that I was curious about is let's see. Um, okay. This has been a great hour. I mean, it's been, it's been wonderful. What I'm curious about is, uh, what are some of the basics people who are watching for entertainment purposes only could use in their daily practices? Well, I think that the, the easiest one is to, um, holding your fingers. Like I said, 14,400 functions in the body. So if your hands, you know, if you do all your fingers, you're harmonizing everything in the entire body. Um, I would really begin with that. And, you know, that can be a lifelong practice right there. Just studying that. I wanted to, mm -hmm. something I wanted to share here that related to what you said. Well, and I, and I also think because a lot of us are typing, we're doing things mm -hmm. uh, and writing some, mm -hmm. some of us still use writing utensils that are not uh, computers, but that if, if we were to take five breaths with each of our fingers, yep. that's 50 breaths. And yep. that's, that could be a sneaky way to do a little bit of like meditation in it. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, for entertainment purposes only people, but. And if you do 36 breaths, you're harmonizing the entire body system. 
And I have a whole breakdown of what each one of those, how that is, but we'll wow. do that another time. Um, our hands are our rejuvenators and our harmonizers. Hands mm -hmm. are generators of the creator's power, not from within us, but a part of the ever constant and balanced universal supply. We need only to be aware of this supply. Hmm. Wow. And awareness is really important because now people who have watched this mm -hmm. are going to probably be, you know, how many people right now are actually holding their fingers? Mm -hmm. So um, Jonathan asks, are there JSJ mudras? Yes, there are. And I will go into those. I'm, I'm going to be offering some classes. I'm figuring out how to do, like if I'm, how I'm going to do all this, but that uh -huh. is another part. I think there's six or eight mudras. Yes. And I also have a, a playlist on my channel of other mudras that I began last year. So there's a lot you can work with there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm yes. constantly making new videos. So sometimes I got to get back to a topic and add to that playlist, but there's a, there's a lifelong stuff already, a bunch of stuff already on my channel. Yes. Um, Another thing, and, and here's, you know, we live in the times we live in, and we all know how stressful they are. So another thing that we like to teach is to do a big hug. So you're putting, you remember Mary Catherine Gallagher on Saturday Night Live and how she would put her hands under her armpits? Yes, superstar. Okay. Yeah, superstar. So she, so you do that and you have your thumbs pointing towards, yes, pointing, yeah, there you go. Okay, and we do 36 inhales and exhales. And we won't do that here because it takes too long, but this is really powerful. This is the one that harmonizes everything. And also very good, anyone who's having a panic attack, PTSD, if you want to have a really good day, do this before you get out of bed. Set your intention for the day. Mm. You know, Call in your angels and guides and talk to them and say, okay, guide me through my day. And if, if a challenge is coming up, will you mitigate its, you know, the severity of it for me? Help me through this. And when you start doing that, it's amazing how things will shift for you. Yes. I just, I can't say enough about it. And if you have a hard time counting to 36 and you want to do those two practices separately, just take some beads or whatever, get 36 of them, put them on a string, and then you can work them like a rosary. And that way you don't have to memorize where you're at. You can just do the breaths. That's Very great. vital every day. That's great. Um, yeah. And... Um, uh, Jonathan has subscribed and Jane, thank the seeker has put in your channel. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jane. And, um, lots of people are loving this. Thank you. Um, I so love you guys. <laughs> what was that? I love you guys. I love uh, you guys. Yes, I'm so yes. grateful to this community. I found this quote. I was looking up things about laughter and stuff and it made me uh -huh. tickled my funny bone. It said, monkeys have been extreme good doctors for the spleen. Because they make you laugh. Laughter is good. I like that. And when you look at the minor chakras, the spleen is the only one that has two chakras. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't spleen. realize that. Spleen is very vital. And it's where we harmonize and integrate the solar energy that we receive every day. That's fascinating. Huh. Things that make you go, Hmm. Monkeys and spleens. Monkeys and spleens, <laughs> and the, you know the spleen. The spleen would probably be an overachiever because it has two chakras that it's responsible for. Dealing. Exactly, so. exactly. And the guy who wrote that his and studied that was Matthew Green, and he wrote a book about the spleen in 1737. <laughs> 1737, writing about the spleen. Writing about the spleen. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Beth said, um, I don't think people can neurologically handle the onslaught of information we get combined with the inability to solve global issues. Yeah. So we work on ourselves because yeah. it's all it's all a reflection. You know, that's the when we feel disempowered and that uh, it's just too big. I can't do anything. If you take care of yourself, you're doing what you're expected to do because that's all there is. Yes. Well, and I was, I, um, I hosted, um, Deb, uh, purple elephant Deb H on, and she was talking about this idea of a healing grid an energy grid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, we all do our own thing and I'm going to get Deb back on to talk more about it. But when we are doing our own thing, 
and that benefits us, but we're connected to, and we're connected to the grid, it benefits the whole. Exactly. So I've been mapping out, you know, I have a, a, like a map of the United States and because most of our viewers, you know, the people I talk to are in the United States and I'm, and I'm making a grid, like mapping out where they all live and seeing how we're all connected, mm -hmm. you know, because if it wasn't for the pandemic, we wouldn't have gotten together. You know, the internet was here before YouTube was here before, but it took that, that, you know, that dramatic experience to bring us together. And it is no mistake. Yes. That we're all connected. Four years ago was when it really started, when it started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, okay. Any, any last minute thoughts that you wanted to share with people, Juno, this has been great. So. Oh, thank you. I've had, a, I love this. I'm just so grateful to have an audience and people who are interested because this is, this is something that doesn't have to cost you anything. You can just hold your own fingers or wherever, you know, yeah. you can learn enough to, if all you do is hold your thumbs or you're inside your knees, you can do that for the rest of your life, the rest of your mm -hmm. jumper cable days. I ran across this quote or this description. It says, be a happy warrior. A happy warrior is someone cheerfully undeterred by opposition of any kind. Mm. And I think if we strive for that, you know, like if I get say something nice happens to me, you know, I get a nice little surprise and whatever it is. And it can be something small. It could be something kind of big. Uh -huh. I savor that. I hang on to that moment. I bring every drop of joy out of it. I put off if I've got bills to open or something I don't want to do. If it can wait. Put it off and and milk that that joyful moment for everything you can because you're training your whole system, you know. It's like that muscle memory, like you're you're training your muscles, you know, inside your soul. Mm -hmm. to what that feels like, and then it's like then the universe goes, oh, she likes that. Let's give her some more of that because the more. universe likes the way it feels when you're in joy. Yes. So if you want to know how you can help things and, and it's not about, well, somebody else is suffering, so I don't have any right to feel joy. That's not how it works. No. You know, you can't cry enough to relieve anyone else's distress. Correct. So if you can take that little, whatever that joyful moment is, um, you might, you might go, wow, she told me about this. And then I, I held on my thumb where she said, and it hurt. That might bring you joy because you found the key to unlock whatever that issue is. Yes. Is. So. It is. It is an important thing is, is that the joy in discovering something that is causing so much pain can be very liberating. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Or figured I'm not just out. making it up. You know, it's validation. That oh, yes. Starts to connect those dots. I mean, all of that. I'm not disregarding what you said. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's that, you know, the Jinshin Jitsu is the art of getting to know and helping yourself. Mm. You know? And Jonathan said, add a spot on Maui for me. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have put Juno's GoFundMe uh, in the chat. So if you want to be able to show support of any kind, the details are in the description as well as on the GoFundMe. Thank so. you, Joe, for mentioning that. And You're I welcome. thank everybody in advance for even, you know, if all you can do is send me the kind wishes that it's successful, that I, I gratefully accept that also. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's all really awesome. This has been wonderful. You're a wonderful guest. Thank you. And um, I, I think people, you can stay tuned because Juno might be doing some lives and doing some more videos, maybe. Mm -hmm look at you might want to watch my show or watch my channel around april 1st and see if there might be something fun hmm. you heard it here you, you heard see. it here so <laughs> all right um spiritual rain is here hi spiritual rain we're just finishing up watch the playback it's good <laughs> it's good well, you are the consummate host uh, Gerald, oh, I really well, thank you thank very thank much. You. It's a, it's, this has been a, you know, I've dreamed about sitting there working with you before I was hoping uh -huh. that we would get a chance to. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I, and when I, I get going, I'll have you as a guest on my channel. One of these I times. love that. Sign me up, sign me up. <laughs> and uh, Jules uh, li learning to listen said, yeah, it's a great way to help no matter how small it all adds up. It, yes, it really does. It all mm -hmm. adds up. Yep. We have a lot of uh, heavy energy to counteract. So, you know, when I realized that 
not saying that one certain person's name, not even giving them the energy, you know, just totally yes. pulling, not giving any anger, whatever. It really helped me to not stay in that, you know, yes. which helps the universe. It helps us all. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the hottest hostess with the bestest. Uh, yeah well the swoop? you need a swoop on well that. i was i was i was just gonna say it's just like going the thing is 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 you know if we adjust our own energy um and uh, but if but if everybody if if that didn't matter i mean there there are not enough fan thwarps in the world to get rid of the crap that's going on right i mean there are not enough everybody has to do stuff that's so. right and it starts with taking care of yourself and how you can take yes. care of yourself by just using your hand, you know, just, yes. and you know, you can find your comedians and do whatever the wash your heart with laughter. Yes. Um, well, and there's also this beautiful idea of is, is if we were to teach our children how yes. to pay attention to this. Oh, hang on. I'll show you something. Keep talking. That could be really amazing. If, uh, if you have somebody, you know, your friend, like Kaylee, you have your friend who puts their hand on top of your, you know, on, on their hand on top of yours. And that helps then say that, do that. And it's cool. So I think, I think it's important that we, we do this. This is a book that you can get from the store at jsjinc.net. This is the website for the main office of Jin Jitsu in Scottsdale. And I mean, this is great for anybody of any age, but they do it in pictures so that kids can see. Oh, just beautiful book. Just simple. Right. Love it. That's great. You know, well, it tells them what to do. So again, it's, uh, and these are not, you know, I'm not promoting or, you know, whatever these, yeah. I love, I love the books. This is Mary's work. Um, yeah. You know, there's that because. Right. You know, know your limits, purchase responsibly. But that's that's great. Yeah. Just I, really I, beautiful I, I, when I worked at the library and people were looking for information about a topic for like high school, and I I would actually say, have you considered going into the juvenile section just yeah. to find the basics? Yeah. And they were like, oh, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't do that. And I'm like, why? Because exactly. you need to get a lot of information and that's going to narrow down. So, and yeah. Exactly. Um, and this is an excellent book that you can you can get this even in used bookstores too. Uh, yes. You know, it's been out for several years. But this is a great book about Jin Shin Jitsu. Uh, my friend Sarah, who's my mentor, her story is in here. There's a lot of people, and I do know um, Alice. I know her personally. So, yeah, uh, yeah, really, okay. really excellent information. You focus on what you can change in your space, not what you have no control yeah. over. And um, and um, okay. So what was the, that first, that first book, I think um, Beth would like. And you, to and you, I think you can get this one there also. Um, it's fun with happy hands and you go to J S J I N C like incorporated dot net. And if you go to the store, I don't think this book is on um, Amazon. I think you have to get it from, hmm. from there and I'll show you. Hang on a second. Okay. I am uh there's some self-help books that you can get. And I think you have to get these through also through that same uh, jsjinc.net. There's three different self-help books that Mary put together. So when you take a five-day class, then you can buy the textbooks, but anybody can buy these self-help books and they're broken down into three different sections in there. I just put, I just put the link into that uh, happy hands. Yeah. Okay. I, so you know, I, there's nice little diagrams and things that you can work through. Um, you know, like working through the self-help books. If you have a child who's autistic, um, these self-help books can be really beneficial to work through them on a regular mm -hmm. basis. This has got a different cover than what the current, you know, the new one does, but there's also the Jin Shin Jitsu for your animal companion, uh -huh. which I believe you can get on Amazon. And Adele is a dear friend of mine. So Oh, that's nice. I highly and, recommend and it. And Beth did find it, found it on the website and Amazon. And so. here it's, here it's the animals. You can see the different safety energy locks where they are on. Oh, wow. Animals. And so I'm going to be having Adele on my channel. Here's on horses. Here's on dogs. Um, so, yeah, mm. she teaches a class. But, you know, we, 
we can, I can help you with basic things, you know, kind of like, I look at it as like first aid kind of things, you know, yeah. and like I said, we're not diagnosing, but if we can help your, your animals or yourself or your children or whatever harmonize, that's what it's about. Um, yeah. The only thing I can say when it won't work is I can tell you it definitely won't work if you don't do it. Well said. You know, it won't work if you don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> you know, and it, the, yeah. you know, results vary depending on, you know, and it all depends on a lot of different things. Some, I, I mean, I have seen like almost instantaneous, miraculous, you know, things happen with animals and with people. And then sometimes it's something that it comes off in layers. You got to work at it and work at it and work at it. Yeah. So, and, yeah. um, and Beth said it was only, only on the website. Okay. So it's this yeah. one because, you know, there we go. Yeah. So, but all right. Well, we have been, we have filled an hour and a half, uh -oh. uh, almost an hour and a half. Uh-oh, YouTube hour and police are going to come minutes. get us. Uh, there are no YouTube police. And if we <laughs> try to show up, I'm after him. That's right. My tiny hands will take care of him. You know, there's, there's room we for We can everybody. just hide behind the fan. They won't see us, right? Which is, that's our invisible cloak. Yes. Our, cloak, our I, fan of invisibility. Our fan of invisibility. <laughs> and I guess my question is, is, does this work with tiny hands as well? It does. Wow. It does. The size of the safety energy lock, okay, is correlated to the size of the being you're working on. So if a horse, yeah. their safety energy locks would be larger. So they're, for people, they're about the size of the palm of our hand. Uh -huh. So I don't know what that says about you, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, so you and, carry them in your pockets. I'll put it that way. They might be dangerous. There, there you go. <laughs> well, everybody, do, thank you very, very much. Please definitely like and subscribe to both of our channels. Links are below if you have an opportunity and you want to show some support for Juno. Uh, there's also contact information for additional information with Juno um, on, on the work that she's doing. So... I want to say thank you very much. And thank you, Juno. It was wonderful to be uh, share space with you again. Well, thank you, Joe. This was my pleasure and I look forward to it. And like I said, I'm open to questions or, you know, I'm I'm very easy to to contact and, and you know, we can discuss things. And now that I have my Zoom account, we can do Zoom meetings that way. Nice. So nice. Keep, let me know what you need and I'll do what I can to help. Beautiful. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody.